Earlier this week, I did something I, I never thought I'd need to do. Uh, I'm here at Wheel and Sprocket in Fox Point, getting a bike fitting. This ought to be interesting, let's go. All bicycles have standard sizes on their frames, but you can customize the size by adjusting things like the seat and handlebar height. This is a very basic fitting that you'll get from your local shop when you buy a bike. But for what I've got planned, I needed a little bit more. <laughs> I've been having some issues with nerve pain in my arm, and my feet falling asleep in my shoes, and it just feeling right on the Marrakesh. So I met up with a specialist. This is Philip Godkin, and he's a bike specialist at Wheel and Sprocket. We did a lot of things, like measure my sit bones. That's that's then how about how wide your, your sit bones are. Von Traeger's color code system, as you can see, we're gonna be on a blue width. So red, narrow, yellow, medium, and blue wide. Yeah, big, su big surprise there, right? <laughs> then there were the flexibility tests, which I didn't even come close to passing. Not a ton of ankle flexion, but that's fine. It is what it is. It's just, it helps me understand what we can accommodate on the body with that. Um, Maybe right. I should also mention I've obliterated my body from 20 years of playing paintball. Paintball? Yeah. Really? How is that so... I didn't realize it, it was so... Because I'm, uh, I'm six foot four and every bunker is like three foot tall. Oh, okay. So you like gotta so dive under there and just... Gotta like, dive under there. My knees are demolished. Yeah, they felt really hard. Like, not supple. But on the bright side, everything else is normal. Ish. Then I got a spin on the Guru. That's not just a stationary bike. All the components move, so it can be adjusted as you're riding it. This has a lot of really big advantages, like you can try out new positions and heights to get the best power output in more comfortable positions while you're still on the bike and pedaling it. He also got out the laser line to check how well my legs are staying in position, and on the right hand side, not so good. I'm thinking it's an old paintball injury that I just never bothered to let heal right. So we tried a few things like shims in the shoes and insoles, and we got it about as straight as it's probably ever going to get. The whole process took a couple of hours, and in the end, we made quite a few changes to the bike. The end result? It made a huge difference. I took it out for a 40 mile ride and absolutely no ride issues at all with a full load on the bike. Now would a pro fitting be right for everyone? No, actually I wouldn't think so. Most people can get the sizes dialed in from their local shop or even if a friend knows how to do it, and they'll be just fine. You could even possibly figure it out for yourself, given the time to do so. But for people trying to get every watt of power, or in my case, you're going to be in a saddle for a long time, having a trained eye give you the best possible results, it's very worth it. Get it right the first time, and you'll be set for a very long time. Oh, oh yeah, in, in, that whole, in the whole saddle thing, yeah, we're going to cover that in the next video. But for now, let's just say that me and the tank, we're going places this summer. <laughs>